How to create and run virtual machines on Ubuntu with QEMU or KVM. A virtual machine is an isolated environment that can be used to emulate an operating system on a host OS. QEMU or Quick Emulator is an open source emulator that allows to create and manage virtual machines. QEMU uses KVM, a type 1 hypervisor, for hardware based virtualization to achieve better performance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install QEMU with KVM on Ubuntu. We will also install Word Manager, a front-end graphical user interface for managing KVM virtual machines. After installing QEMU or KVM on Ubuntu, I will show you how to create a virtual machine and install the Windows 10 operating system. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now keep in mind that the processor inside your computer must support hardware virtualization. To check whether your computer system has virtualization enabled, open the terminal and type this command. Now look for virtualization status. Now mine says AMD-V which means it's an AMD processor and supports hardware-based virtualization. Now Intel users will see VT-X printed here. Now secondly, run this command, it will output the number of CPU cores or threads. If it's more than zero, congratulations, your system is ready for handling virtual machines. Now if you see a value of zero, head over to BIOS and enable virtualization. The next step, update your Linux package manager. Now in this case, I'm going to type sudo apt update. Now once it's done, it's time to install QEMU with KVM and Virtual Device Manager. Now go ahead and type this command, sudo apt install qemu-kvm word-manager bridge-utils. Now once it's done, it's always recommended to reboot the computer. Now after it's rebooted, open the terminal and type sudo systemctl status libvirt-d, which is a daemon service that establishes a virtualization. Now right now on the Ubuntu machine, the service is already running. If it's not running, you can run these two commands. Now also as you can see, there is a new group created called libvirt. I'm going to go ahead and add the current user to these groups to allow them to handle the virtual machines. Now head over to the app launcher, look for Word Manager and open it. The Word Manager is a graphical user interface that allows us to create and manage all the virtual machines. Now as you can see, the connection has been established. There is no error and we are good to go. It's time to show you how to set up a virtual machine and install any OS. You can almost install any operating system out there. I'm going to install Windows 10 and show you guys how it works. Now right click on this option and choose select details. Now if you go through storage, this is where all the VMs will be stored. Now from the menu bar, click on the file and choose to create a virtual machine. Then select local install media to import an ISO stored inside the host OS. Then choose forward. Now click on browse to import an ISO. Here we can either import the ISO directly using browse local or you can create a pool that links to the folder where ISO files are stored. To add a pool, click on the plus button and name the folder. In my case, I'm going to name it Downloads, then choose the target path. Now if you select the Downloads directory, it will list out ISOs present inside them. Now select the ISO and choose Volume. Now QEMU will detect the name of the installation media. If not, untick this option and choose Generic. Now I will leave it to Windows 10. Now assign the CPU cores and memory to this virtual machine. 
since I'm running Windows, it's recommended to use 4 cores and 8 gigs of RAM. Then create a storage space for this virtual machine. I'm going to stick with 60 gigabytes. Then name the virtual machine, just give it a meaningful name that is easy to read. Now select this option to configure the VM before it gets started. Now for the network, set it to defaults. If you notice the hypervisor is set to KVM, which means QEMU has integrated with KVM for hardware-based virtualization to achieve high performance. You can also change the install mode. The default framework is set to BIOS, but you can also change it to UEFI. Now once it's done, apply the changes. Now keep in mind, this is the settings page of the KVM virtual machine to configure the virtual hardware. Now once everything is set, click on begin the installation. To increase the size of the window, you can choose view, scale display and set it to always. Now this helps to resize the window according to your choice. Now I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 10 quickly and get back to you guys. Now compared to VirtualBox or VMware, QEMU uses a Type 1 hypervisor, KVM, for faster performance. Now if you have a lot of CPU cores and RAM, then QEMU with KVM is the best emulator for the Linux operating system. Now you can see Windows 10 is running very smoothly without any issues. To scale the VM to full screen, you can go to the settings manager on a guest OS and change the screen resolution to match the host OS. Now lastly, if you decide to remove any VM, first shut down the virtual machine. Then go back to the main page of the work manager. Right click on the VM, choose to delete and follow the on-screen instructions. And this will free up the storage space on the host OS. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install QEMU with KVM and set up virtual machines on Ubuntu. Check the description for more information. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSKRL. I will catch you in my next video.